Hey everybody, welcome back to another story time at Wheatberry Books. My name's Chelsea. I'm coming at you with some good news today. We heard that we will be allowed to reopen the store soon. I'm still not comfortable having a bunch of people in here for story time because we need to follow all of the rules and keep everyone safe. So we'll still be doing virtual story time, but it's going to be the first Saturday of every month instead of every Saturday because things are about to get pretty busy around here. So we'll be seeing you a little less often, but it's going to be fun. I've got a good book today that we're going to do. It's called B is for Buckeye, an Ohio alph alphabet written by Marsha Schoenberg. You guys have probably heard a lot about Ohio pride lately. Um, I think you're going to learn a lot from this book. This is a neat one because there's a little story I'm going to tell. If you want to check it out sometime, there's a lot more information that your parents can read to you. I'm just going to give you a little bit of that information. So I'll be anxious for you to tell me in the comments something that you learned from today's story. So here we go. B is for Buckeye. A is for astronauts speeding through space. They circle the Earth and walk on the moon, exploring a dark and exciting place. And actually, more astronauts are from Ohio than any other state, 23 in all. And that includes the first man to circle the Earth, the first man to walk on the moon, and the first woman to walk in outer space. B is for Buckeye, Ohio's nickname and tree. Its nut looks like a deer's eye. Early pioneers would all agree. And the Buckeye trees can grow up to 100 feet tall. In, many o in Ohio, many symbols and places start with the letter C, and none could be more important than Columbus, our capital city. Well, of course, we think Chillicothe is pretty important, too. It was Ohio's first capital. You may have already known that. D can be for dairy cow in fields grazing and for Ohio's wildflower, the yellow lakeside daisy. And the lakeside daisy is actually the rarest of all endangered plants in Ohio. The letter E stands for Erie, a lake that's great fun to explore. Rocks and sandy beaches have secrets galore, and long ago, battles were once seen offshore. And Lake Erie has more numbers and variety of fish than any other great lake. F is for Flint, a rock with powers that early man could mint. Fire and firearms were made with Ohio's gemstone. So were arrowheads and tools, the earliest ones known. So Flint is Ohio's gemstone and you can make fire from it. And that's pretty incredible. Glacier starts with the letter G. Made of ice and snow, it carved hills and valleys millions of years ago. There's a place called Kelly's Island State Park and it's home to glacial grooves where you could actually see fossilized marine life. Isn't that amazing? Here, or H is the letter for the special place full of butterflies, squirrels, and bees. Holden Arboretum is nature's delight with gardens of flowers, plants, and trees. And there is a white oak tree in Holden Arboretum that is more than 350 years old. I is for inventors, people who use their imagination. Their job is to think of something new, like airplanes, lights, and chewing gum, too. Now I'll tell you a little bit more about some of Ohio's most famous inventors here in a little bit. J stands for John Chapman, a man who sowed seeds and did good deeds. Early settlers all agreed that he deserved the name Johnny Appleseed. And even though he died in 1845, some of the trees he planted still grow in Ohio. K is for Karamu House, a fun word to say. It is a center in Cleveland where you can sing, dance, and play. And Karamu actually means a place of joyful gatherings. And the Karamu House is the oldest African-American cultural arts center in the United States. Now we have a special insect hiding in our book. What can it be? Come and take a look. L stands for ladybug. Tiny red and black, she wears a cloak of polka dots upon her round hard back. Did you know that the ladybug is Ohio State insect? There's plenty of them around, isn't there? M is for Marietta, a charming river town where crowds gather, bands play, and paddle wheels go round and round. Marietta was named for um, Queen Marie Antoinette of France. 
N stands for nature, living things in the great outdoors, such as Ohio's prairies and pine forests, as well as scenic lake shores. Have you been exploring some of Ohio's nature trails these last few weeks? I know my kids and my husband and I have been outside a lot and we've found some really cool trails. I can't wait to hear where you guys have been exploring and I've been loving seeing some of your pictures. Oh, this one is tricky. See if you can guess. What's round on the ends and high in the middle? The answer is Ohio. Did you figure out the riddle? I remember my mamaw Bessie telling me that riddle when I was little. The word Ohio actually comes from the Iroquois word Ohio, which means beautiful river. From Ohio came eight presidents, bringing us to the letter P. Two Harrisons, one Hayes, a Grant and a Garfield, Portly Taft, Harding, and a carnation-clad McKinley. Ohio is known as the mother of presidents because it has sent more presidents to the White House than any other state. Q stands for Quaker Oats, Ohio's favorite breakfast food. Steaming hot and swimming in milk, it puts us in a happy mood. Actually, there were 36 huge grain silos in Akron that were part of the Quaker Oat meal, or meal, <laughs> the mill, <laughs> and they've since been turned into a hotel. So it's a really neat place. Maybe you can check it out sometime. R rolls over the tongue like a roller coaster out over its rails. With breath breathtaking dives and high-speed glides, roller coasters give the most rollicking rides. Have you guys ever been to Kings Island or Cedar Point? Do you like roller coasters? Because I don't. I get so sick. <laughs> so you guys who enjoy that stuff, you are way more brave than I am. S stands for Columbus's ship, the Santa Maria. In 1492, she left Spain and sailed the ocean blue with a fearless captain and a valiant crew. When I was a little girl, there was a replica of the Santa Maria in Columbus that you could go on and visit. I bet some of your parents have taken field trips there and they can tell you all about it. It was a pretty neat thing to do. T is for tomato, which makes the beverage of Ohio. Here, tons of tasty tomatoes grow to produce the juice Ohioans know. So do you think that tomato is a fruit or a vegetable? It's a fruit. Underground Railroad starts with you. It had no train, no engine, no whistle that blew. Hidden stations marked by secret clues and kind conductors led slaves to safe houses they knew. So the Underground Railroad was a system of people helping people um, so they could move north to freedom. And I bet you're seeing a lot of examples of people helping people right now. Vacuum cleaner begins with V, a favorite for those who go on a cleaning spree. Push it around after you turn it on and very soon the dirt is gone. So here's something you probably didn't know. The very first electric vacuum cleaner was invented in Canton, Ohio, and it was made out of wood, metal, and a pillowcase. Here's those inventors we were talking about. W is for Wright Brothers, who dreamt of reaching the sky. They built planes in their bicycle shop and became the first inventors to fly. Wilbur and Orville built the first airplanes in Dayton, which is now known as the birthplace of aviation. And there's a neat museum there if you guys ever want to go. You can check out all sorts of airplanes. The X word is Xenia, though its X sounds like a Z. This is Ohio's city of hospitality. It's also a great place to bike. Try it and see. Xenia is actually the birthplace of Tecumseh, who is very well known in our parts in Chillicothe. The Y bridge spans two rivers, keeping travelers dry. You can cross the bridge and not the river, though you may be wondering why. The Y Bridge is in Zanesville, and it spans the Muskingum and Licking Rivers. And lastly, Z stands for zoo, where hippos and manatees are on view. Visitors can watch alligators chew and rare red, red pandas wave at you. And Ohio has five zoos. There's one in Toledo, Akron, Cleveland, Columbus, and Cincinnati. I'd love to know what your favorite animals are at the zoo. If you guys were here, we would talk about that for so long, <laughs> what our favorite animals are. I like the red pandas myself. So now we've said the ABCs. It is as fun as fun can be, and we've discovered Ohio from the letters A to Z. 
Thanks so much for participating with me every week, guys. I've enjoyed this. I hope you have too. I know we're only going to be doing it monthly, but with, it's going to be worth it. It'll be great. And we're all going to stay healthy. And I'll see you back in here really soon. Okay? I love you guys. Take care.